Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel Tech Audio. My name is Bharat Kumar. Today we are going to tackle a fundamental yet essential task in Python programming. Swapping the values of two variables. Right? Whether you are a beginner or an experienced programmer, knowing these different methods to swap values can come in handy. So let's dive right in and explore 5 unique ways to swap numbers in Python. So guys, recently we have completed one project which is to-do list project using python and tkinter if you haven't gone through that project please go through that project so kindly make sure to watch that video and then come back to this video right so now let's begin the lecture so guys are you ready to see the first method way one using a temporary variable our first method uses a temporary variable this is a straightforward approach and easy to understand right so now let's see how it works First we need to take two variables a and b, right? So let me assign values to these two variables a equal to 3, b equal to 4. So before diving into the wave 1, you need to understand what is swapping. For example, I have two values 2 and 3. So it is the before swapping. Before swapping. After swapping, in the place of 2 it comes 3, in the place of 3 it comes 2. It is the after swapping. Right? It is known as swapping. For example, variable A we have 2. For variable B we have 3. Like that. So it is before swapping. So after swapping, A becomes 3 and B becomes 2. It is known as swapping. Got it? So here, for the a variable, I have taken 3 and for the b, I have taken 4. So let me print the values before swapping. a comma b. It is a before swapping. See, we got this exact values. Now, we need to define a temporary variable which can hold the value of a. For the a, I am giving b and then for the b, I am giving temp print after swapping a comma b you can see before swapping 3 comma 4 after swapping 4 comma 3 that means here we are using a temporary variable in this temporary variable i am storing a value the temporary variable holds value of a that means 3 here the a variable holds value of b it is 4 and for the b we are giving temp the temp contains value of a that means 3 you can see before swapping 3 comma 4 after swapping 4 comma 4 3 got it way 1 is completed it's a straightforward way right now let's see the next one way 2 using addition and subtraction so guys in the way 2 it doesn't require any temporary variable we can directly swap two numbers by addition and subtraction, right? So here, I want to use the same variables so that you can also understand how I'm swapping, right? Before swapping, 3 and 4. Now let's write code for swapping. a equal to a plus b. Now, b equal to a minus b and then a equal to a minus b print after swapping a comma b you can see we got the exact swapping before swapping here also 3 comma 4 after swapping 4 comma 3 i am adding two numbers a plus b that means it is 7 now so guys here you can see a plus b equal to 7 now the a becomes 7 a minus b 7 minus 4 equal to 3 here the a variable is holding 7 7 minus 3 equal to 4 right you can see so the b is holding 3 and a is holding 4 it is the way to using addition and subtraction the third method involves multiplication and division this method is similar to previous one but uses a different mathematical operation. This approach works in a similar way 
by manipulating the values mathematically. Just make sure you avoid zero values to prevent division errors. Right? The third method using multiplication and division. So here also I wanna take the same variables that I have used in the three comma four. Now a equal to a into b b equal to a divided by b a equal to a divided by b after swapping a comma b you can see we got these values before swapping and after swapping so let me convert it to int so that you cannot see 3.0 4.0 Yeah, you can see before swapping, after swapping. See guys, you can see in the way one we got before and after. In the way two also we got the same output but in a different manner. In the way three also we got the same output but in a different manner. Now let's understand this method. Three into four, it's twelve. Now I'm dividing twelve by four. It means three. So the B is holding three. Three is for B. Now, A contains 12 only, but the B value changes to 3. 12 divided by 3 equal to 4. So, 4 is a value for A. That's it. We are done with the way 3. Our fourth method uses the XOR bitwise operator. It's a bit more advanced, but very efficient. Now, let's start coding for the way 4. Same variables. See, 3 comma 4. Now, a equal to a XOR, the cap symbol is for XOR, for b equal to same a cap symbol b and then a equal to again a and a cap symbol and b. Print after swapping a comma b. Yeah, you can see. We got the same output that we got in the way 2, way 3 and way 1. Same here. Here we are doing this bitwise operator. That means for example, for 3 we have some values. If you are aware of bitwise operators, then you can able to easily understand this bitwise operator. It is a bit complicated to explain this one. So I am not explaining. So guys, but you can go to the Google and binary value for 3. It is a one way that we can do the swapping. Most people don't know, but I am just showing that it is a way for that we can do it with the bitwise operator, right? In the upcoming videos, I will explain clearly about this bitwise operators. If you need, please comment down. I need bitwise operators clearly so that I can explain you. Finally, let's look at the most Pythonic way to swap values. The way 5 using tuple unpacking. So guys, in the Python series, I have explained packing and unpacking in Python. If you haven't watched that video, please go and watch it out. I'll leave a link in the i button so that you can watch it easily. Now let's begin with the way 5. Same variables, here also I am using. We got 3 comma 4. 3 and 4. a comma b equal to b comma a. It is the Pythonic way. It looks like very simple than way 1, way 2, way 3, way 4. It's a very simple method. It's a very Pythonic way. Only the legend programmers will do this method. Yeah, let me print these values. After swapping a comma b yeah you can see we got the values 3 comma 4 i mean 3 and 4 and 4 and 3 so we are done with the five ways so guys bye for now see you in the next video with another different concept